Good luck, boys. Good luck, guys. Me and her new All right, we'll be in touch. Jim. Yep. Yeah, boy. Here we go. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm dropping Jake and Ted off to go after this turkey that we roosted last night so that I can try to go and put ears on other turkeys in case this bet doesn't pan out for us. Because this is the only one that we heard last night in the rainstorm. It's also really bright with the moon, so having three people would be yeah. quite a bit to be getting as close to these turkeys as we're trying to, I think. So. Yeah, I agree. John and Josh and Jake Lynch our other buddies that we met up with at camp last night they got a bird roosted as well they're going after them and we're going to go after this road bird hopefully it doesn't fly down right in the road that's yeah it. or you guys are going to go after this road bird i'm going to go try and find other prospects here i might even have some time to take me a nap that's it good luck ted thanks brother you guys are going to want this stick and then i was all alone
he's just strutting up the road, kind of keeping an eye back here on us, it seems like. I'd let them get out of sight and then try to make a big loop around and get in front of them. They're seeming to want to drift up that road, so we'll get on the back side of the ridge. We might be able to get up there and call them up into the timber. Every turkey except, well, I guess there's three hens and the tom. And two of the hens flew down in the timber. And him and the hen flew up, up on the road there, so it's just how she goes. <laughs> Pretty awesome though. One heck of a turkey show right there. Yeah, just they were going. just in a spot where legally we couldn't shoot them by standing in the road. We got to watch just turkeys be turkeys though, because we didn't call them until they started drifting away there just a little bit. But it was cool. All the hens kind of just coming up do their soft calling like that coming to them. At one point they were walking in the woods there. They're just in the leaves right here, about yeah. five yards away. I thought that hen was going to drag him right down in front of us here. Yeah. He's still standing over there, about 70 yards away. I haven't heard a turkey one this morning. Sun came up, so I just drove over here to get Ted and Jake. Have no service, so I have no idea. I haven't heard from them. Drove over here, and there's a long beard and three hens staying in the middle of the road, right next to where they were roosting. So I'm assuming this turkey pitched in the middle of the road. Looks like quite the conundrum.
see him sit there. <laughs> Shift right, maybe do it. He's going left still. That's too thick for me. Shift to the right if you can, if he gets behind the tree, because I got one opening over here that's clear. Do what? If you can shift to the right more, that might help, because I've only got like two openings. 
hands behind him. I can't tell. Wait, no man, no man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> I should have been where you were sitting. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, just how that was going to have to end up going. I was worried this morning, this morning when we sat at different trees. But I was hoping he'd come down here. But I would have shot I him sooner, but I wanted to. I, I like counted the hens. I was like, okay, one, two, three to the right. Because uh, it's like, it's so, they blend in so well down through there. I was like, I don't want to roll a hen. I couldn't so. tell what. If you'd be able to shoot him through there or not, because I'd just look got to the left. Camp. I peeked around the tree to the left. I was like, well, I can't shoot him over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I was just, he was, he was just like looking, still yeah. more curious and nervous. The hen got yeah. us. The hen was nervous. But then when I made the big move around there, like I, <laughs> he was I literally, away. I think I put my barrel around there, like picked this big hoss up and <laughs> put <laughs> yeah. it around this side of the tree. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, because I, I was going to try to shoot him over here, but this is in the way. And then I had this, you know, see this little branch that's like right off the right side of this tree here? Uh -huh. I'm like, well, I don't want to shoot at that at 40 or 45, whatever he is. I, <laughs> yeah, you had to make a big move around there. But we had all this stuff in the way, and I mean, they were pretty convinced. Warm. Yeah, they were pretty convinced we were turkeys until the very end there, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. down. <laughs> I'll be grabbing. <laughs> He's laying right there. <laughs> you should have seen how close they were this morning. You just they must it. have pitched right to the road, huh? <laughs> they did. Exactly what we were worried right about. Right to the road. They didn't leave it for like, forever. The hens drifted in. They act like they wanted to drift in a couple times, but he came to like probably eight yards behind us, and he was just oh yeah, there literally at us. eight yards, maybe even closer. Because <laughs> y'all been calling. Yeah. Well, no, actually, we didn't. no, we didn't even call. They were just pitched to the road, and then they were strutting back and forth on the road. He was right five yards to our hard right right there standing there strutting that limb actually yeah oh yeah and he died right there <laughs> <laughs> but he flew down she flew down then there's two more hens that come work they didn't fly to the road but they come working up yeah and then they started drifting that way and i started calling at him a little bit but it was like he's right there and he's just gonna come up the road to us so why call at him let him drift off you know right but then eventually the Hens kept acting like they wanted to drift back down in here, I thought. Yeah, they just kept pecking their way back in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we had to work to get a shot at him. He could see a lot better. Oh, than I, I was like, those guys got to be freezing their butts off. <laughs> <laughs> and I got your gun, your, your big ass gun. <laughs> I'm holding my, my bicep is so sore. Eventually, I just set it down and like let the barrel rest on the ground because like I can't shoot him up there anyway. <laughs> right. When we reached him right there, it was like, this is not ideal, but. Especially with the rain. Like yeah. the rain really made it like, yeah, yeah. he's gonna go that route. <laughs> yeah, and he flew right to it. I, when I came driving up here, I was like, it had been daylight for a while. And as soon as I rounded the corner down there, I seen him. <laughs> I was like, oh crap. I'm, I was hoping I was Which gonna see you guys in the middle of the road. Uh -huh. Did they go that, did he go that way the first yes. time? Yes, okay. I, I saw him, I was like, oh crap, there he is strutting, I'm like. <laughs> and I drove up here and I seen he had three hens with him. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> And then I drove another 10 yards and I looked at you guys <laughs> and just sit right down here, pointed right at him. <laughs> How far away was he? Uh, 40, he was 40 maybe, or 40, so, 45. and he was nervous. Yeah, his feet are. After I drove by the second time, it was like 10, 15 minutes before he shot him. Yeah, he, sh he strutted. Yeah. I mean, I just started purring and it seemed like they, the hens, like I was just purring real soft calling. Yeah. And that's when they started. Did they the start hens. working back to you? Yeah. yeah, the hens were at like 30 yards yeah, and they were was down standing in here. back there strutting. Yeah, they were coming to us. Well, then one of them picked us off. Yeah, I was trying to figure out a way to get a shot because he, he could see a lot of different stuff than what I could. But I was I looked around. I was trying to look around the tree to see if I could kill him that way. I could just lean out and then she busted me, I think. And then I, <laughs> I had to lean around the right side. I was like, well, that's too thick. So I had to pick the gun. You know, there's a tree like this. Yeah. I had to pick the gun up. <laughs> 
and then he then was, he he like was going stood away. up on your knee a little bit or something. Yeah, he was going uh, away when you shot him. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that the hens weren't right behind him. Right. You know, that, and they, like, so were they putting and kind of yeah. easing off? Oh yeah. Yeah, the hens that started that putting right there. for a while, and, but he was. He was not as near. As he wasn't as that worried. I mean, they started putting and working up. off, and he was just standing there half strut. I mean, looking. They were, we hung out with him for an hour and a half, so they were pretty convinced that we were turkeys. I think at right. that yeah. point, <laughs> <laughs> that gut of yours, dude. It's just like it's a cannon. It's, a, it, well, it, it, it's <laughs> just so easy to get on stuff, though. I just love pointing that thing. It's like I've I've shot a lot of tur not not a lot, but enough turkeys with that gun that are doing that exact thing where they're just going away, and it's just like well. Just put it on them, and the pattern just seems to be pretty ideal for. Yeah, it's good. It just is very heavy. To 40, 45 yards. It's very heavy and hard to hold up for a long time. <laughs> That's why I'm always slouched down in the tree with yeah. it sitting uh, on my knee. Yeah. yeah I seen see his little, little skinny beard when I drove by. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. That's Big old what, white head on him. That's what we could see last <laughs> night when we drove past. I was like, oh, they have not got him yet. <laughs> he is. He is <laughs> right there. He's got a it short took a little beard. While. Oh man. You're hanging last night. Yep. Mm -hmm. Long enough. Oh man, and that's a Vermont turkey, Jacob. Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lay him on that rock, I guess. Have you heard anything from those guys? Uh yeah. Josh missed one. Did he? Yeah, he missed that one that they roosted. <laughs> well, son he, of was, gun. he was all flustered about that. I was like, Did they gobble? And John's like, Yeah. <laughs> Started gobbling at four forty five. We're gonna have to eat some turkey nuggets so we can make some room. For mm -hmm. that joker. Oh, John boy brought his fryer. We're fixing to. It's a good problem to have. All right, let's drag this thing out of here. Gotta go check him in. Yeah. Glad you got that in too on for this long pack out. Yeah. They sat down and it was like, Pow! We heard him drumming <laughs> before that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, gobble till, uh, till he shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ten after. And then after he shot, he sat there and gobbled. <laughs> They, they flew down, and by God, he, he started walking out that limb and it just kept on bowing, and it kind of diving board him. He went, <laughs> and he went down in the dip, and he came up the decoy alley and walked, do a complete 360 around the decoy oh, really? He was right in your lap, huh? 14, 15 yards, Too maybe. Close. Now, hell, I don't know. Was he just strutting around the decoy in the shop? No, he, he had stopped him. I didn't shoot him when he was blowed up. Yeah. He had stopped him. He went. It looked like he was about to and start he, beating it. Yeah. yeah. Like and he went like that, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> and he went, <laughs> and then he landed and went, ah! <laughs> I said, mm, mm. Oh, freaking gun no. jammed up. How far was he then? Same place! Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he was there for what? Another 30 seconds? Oh, he was there for, I was sitting there going, and I had my fingers in the chamber, and I didn't know what, I, it didn't it, eject, it the, didn't shell. eject the shell. Oh. And I was sitting there going, and John was like, Josh, it is jammed, and he's still right there. For a while, walked he was he there for a couple more times. Yeah, I mean, he he started cutting and stuff, and we walked over the road. He was gobbling. He gobbled the whole way, and then when we come back two and a half hours later, he back in the same doggone spot where I shot him. <laughs> huh? He's out there just. You hear any other turkey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did hear a bunch on the limb. Did you? Yeah. I don't know if we can get to them. How many would you say? Four or five more. Nice. There's like a group of three and then another. It's, I think there's one there's back one, behind us. Yeah. One on the power line behind us, I think is over in the in the, in the the holler. Man it's, could do, man could do like some damage over there. Six or eight <laughs> in there. And it's all, like it's. Sounds like it's money. It's very finessed land. There's nice roads. Yeah. You know what I mean? That you can move around on quietly. property yeah close he's coming off of he's coming off of public onto this unposted private here we're gonna go back through and see if we can get a better eyeball on him is he behind that wall yeah he's right here look move your hand once oh i see him move your hand is it a long yeah it's a long well good does he seem okay to you or does he seem like he's... He doesn't seem very smart. 
He's right here. That's why we didn't see him. It's because he was just right freaking here. Now he's walking back here in the woods. Pretty sure he's just a skinny long beard, ain't he? Looks that way. He's definitely a long beard. Why is he letting us get away with this? That's what I'm curious about. He does not look healthy to me. <laughs> he looks very skinny. No, it's a long beard. He doesn't seem real ripe for the picking. No, he just is like... He's a loser. <laughs> Not doing well out there. I don't know what to think of that. <laughs> like he seems like he's like he's not gonna play the game that we want him to. Doesn't seem like it. His mood could change, I guess, but I don't like it. <laughs> no. Yeah, that ain't great. You know, it's full of highs and lows. We were at a high a moment ago when we saw him and now we just pulled right up to him and he seems like he's about he ain't into it. Yeah, he ain't into it. Like he's wounded or something, maybe. We could have just head a lot, wasn't he, Jake? Yeah. What was that he's all got about? Bugs in his ears or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was acting real weird. Oh, it's beautiful. I thought it was going to come after us or something. <laughs> oh, oh my funny. God. You guys won't believe this. <laughs> we just have been trying to roost birds, failing at it miserably, and we're driving back to camp, and all of a sudden, <laughs> we just see this huge, like, eight-foot-tall brown thing that looks like a human looking, yes. or alien. <laughs> long legs. Just long legs in the middle of the road, and it's facing straight away from us, and we're like, what in the world is that? And then we got up there and it's huge head turns around and almost hits the car. <laughs> it's a moose. It's baby. a moose. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, we were just asking you all about moose yeah. earlier today. I was like, yeah, they're up here. Not too many of them. No, not very many. <laughs> we just about plowed into that thing. <laughs> a couple times. <gasps> Tell about the moose. Man, about that was so tell good. About Jake wasn't recorded. Oh. That was so good. That we... <laughs> All right, we just got back to camp. As soon as we pull in, he starts cracking up. Tells us that he's got this big story, you know. They almost hit a moose, and then it runs right up here in the middle of our camp. Yeah, Meanwhile, we run him in here. Yeah. <laughs> we were hoping you guys would be home. <laughs> yeah, we was hoping that, that, that Morv and Ted was in here. Meanwhile, we're down the road two miles away having our own moose experience. We didn't hear crap tonight. We basically wasted an entire evening farting around with a, with a screwball turkey that looked like he was on the verge of death, really. I mean, he didn't look very good. He did not look very good. It's like, I don't know that he's going to gobble. <laughs> like, I don't even know if he's going to make it up in a tree tonight. Well, it's a good thing that me and Jake roosted a couple ain't him, Bobby. Yeah. So they got, they got a whole passel of them roosted. So I'm gonna go with them in the morning, see if we can kill a pair of them. And then Jake and Ted and John Lewis are gonna go back over there to the mountain where uh, Jake Lynch roosted some birds last night. So we should be on some turkeys in the morning. It's supposed to be good weather again. They just, they've been getting up early out here. First drum this morning on Jacob's bird was at 
Yeah, we heard our first gobble at 445. Yeah, it's 10. So, Shit. they're very little oh, sleep. Crap. We better eat these sandwiches and... Uh, very little sleep up here. Yeah. <laughs> Go to bed for a couple of hours, let the bears wake us up. And We're then, sleeping uh, in tomorrow. I'm seeing That's why I want Rooster. That's why I want to go with that. This yep, like John. <laughs> I'm going with you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the morning. We got to get up early. See y'all in the morning.